Hello, everybody. Eric here to talk about F. Paul Wilson's Secret History of the World. And in this video, we're talking about The Void Protocol. Of course, it's by F. Paul Wilson, and it is from Forge. It is the third book in the ICE trilogy. ICE stands for E Intrusive Cosmic Entity. I have to look at my notes on my phone because uh, I can't remember that. In this book, we're going to be jumping back and forth in time a little bit. But our main characters, as always in the Ice Trilogy, are Laura Manning and Rick Hayden. Uh, Laura is a medical examiner who's actually changing to uh, neurology. Rick Hayden works for a rich old dude. <laughs> Stallman, can't remember his first name. But anyway, uh, what we have in the Void Protocol we actually start in 84. I'm going to just take a quick look. Just take a quick... Yes, 84. And we have this uh, medical researcher called into a secret government project to work on this weird substance that the government has. This is all like off the record, off the books kind of stuff. And then we jump forward to present day. Rick Hayden, he's on assignment from Stallman, who, is that how you say his name, has sent him to help this other guy pick up a dude. Oh, this is, I'm doing so horribly here. He's picking up a dude that's going to be killed by the mob because this dude has, apparently, telekinesis. This is where we're getting into the story. Uh, Stallman, who basically triggered everything in the first of the ice books brought Laura and Rick Hayden, Laura Manning and Rick Hayden together. He's pretty much a philanthropist and he is studying these people or has people studying these people with superpowers, essentially. Um, nothing crazy, all sort of brain based. So you've got a telekinetic, uh, you have someone who can turn invisible, someone who can teleport, etc. A few different abilities. And so Stallman is trying to find and gather these people. He's paying them. He's, uh, for the ones that want and or need a place to stay, he's giving them room and board. So... And, and uh, Rick Manning, or Rick Hayden, suggests bringing Laura Manning in since she's switching to neurology from being an ME because it has to do with brains and brain stuff and brain waves. So she's brought into the story. Um, and then the story keeps jumping back and forth between what's going on with uh, Laura Manning, Rick Hayden, the, the modern day stuff. And then back to 84, and then moving forward a little bit as these secret government people are studying this thing that ends up being called Mellis. And, of course, it's all going to come together. And Rick believes in the intrusive cosmic entities. He doesn't, and he believes in a secret history of the world. He doesn't know everything that we, the readers, know or Repairman Jack knows. Um, but, so, yeah, things are going to clash. I'm doing horrible at this today. It's been a long, weird day. Uh, so we have essentially people with superpowers in the modern day being studied by good guys, but then there's also bad guys. There's going to be a clash. Things are going to get crazy. Um, <clears throat> it is going to tie in with the secret history of the world. I gave this one five out of five stars because one, I like the idea of characters with superpowers. You know, I'm a comic book fan. Look at this stuff behind me. Um, so it was pretty cool. There, there's even reference. I mean, right off the bat, someone's like, oh. So it's like the X-Men. You're Professor X. Stallman's like, Stallman is like, eh, not 
quite. But um, I really enjoyed it. Rick Hayden, Laura Manning, great characters. I mean, it is F. Paul Wilson, so you know the writing's good. It's an interesting story. How it all ties together, I found very interesting. And, as usual, F. Paul Wilson pulls no punches. There's a lot of shocks in here. Um, so I found it very, very interesting. A great story. Great writing. Five out of five. All right. Now, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, first part of this was the review. Now we're going to get into how it ties into the secret history. And so there could be spoilers and things. I'm going to grab my copy of Signals because it has the most up-to-date list of these stories uh, that I have. So, here we go. The Void Protocol, tying into the entire secret history of the world. First of all, the last book was The Touch, which it says ends in August of year zero minus one. And then The Void Protocol takes place in September of year zero minus one. So, we're, I mean, things are counting down quickly we're almost to the end of the world as we know it and with the void protocol one of the biggest ties to the other stuff is the septimus lodge uh some of the bad guys rick hayden sees the septimus tattoo on some of these bad guys and so they're a big part of what's going on with Repairman Jack. Uh, in the last couple of Repairman Jack books, they're a huge part of what's going on. So that ties everything together. Uh, the fact that Rick keeps talking about uh, intrusive cosmic entities and believing that there is a secret history of the world um, ties it together. And I assume the events that happen at the end of this book the the i'm trying to avoid big spoilers the thing the melis as it's called i assume that's going to tie in have a bigger part as we reach the end of the secret history and i'm wondering if these characters with powers are going to come back i believe night world which is the last book. I believe Night World brings, like, everything together. I think... I don't know. I think a bunch of characters all come together in Night World. So I'm wondering if... I mean, we're going to have Repairman Jack. Are we going to have Rick and Laura? Are we going to have Stallman? Are we going to have the some of these characters with superpowers... Uh, how is the touch going to fit in? I don't have the answers yet. But we do absolutely have that Septimus Lodge connection here. And we're getting closer and closer to the end. This is, as I said, this is the last of the Ice books. So I don't know where things are going to go. Um, I'm just, I'm getting giddy. Just thinking about it. Uh, the next one that I will be reading is The Last Christmas. Uh, because, <laughs> well, the next book after Void Protocol is the Peabody, Ozymandias, Traveling Circus, and Oddity Emporium, which I have already read. I'm going to be recording that video shortly. Uh, so the book following that is The Last Christmas. And then there's a few more. All right, uh, I think that's it. I don't know that I need to cover anything else. I'm trying to remember if there's any mention of events, if anybody references events that have happened in other books. But I don't recall now, even though I read it less than a week ago. 
I don't remember. So I'm going to leave it at that. That is The Void Protocol by F. Paul Wilson, part of the secret history of the world. Uh, no questions for these videos. It's not that kind of thing. So, if, But if you have any question, comments, questions, or corrections, please put those in the comments below. Comments are open for spoilers. Just post spoiler warning. We try to be polite here on my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. All the usual YouTube stuff. If you'd care to follow me on other social media, my Twitter is at Ronan5757. My Instagram, where I post pictures of books, comic books, board games, and fuzzy animals, is Eric Smith 5757 That's Eric with a K. E-R-I-K-S-M-I-T-H-5757. If you're on Blue Sky, I'm at E.L. Smith. That's all I have for you this time. So until next time, read more books.